Hello YouTube, it's Ben here from Team America 1 coming at you with a new deck profile for you guys tonight. Uh, I was at Locals today, I did not enter, but I did do some trading, and um, I actually got this deck skeleton today, so I figured I would just show you guys, or like, explain to you this deck. It's really fun, uh, I thoroughly enjoy it, and it's more, again, synchro based, which is something that I've been actually getting into a lot lately, so um, uh, anyways... Let's just get right into the profile. Start off with one Rescue Rabbit. Um, essential because you play three of this card. And this is an alien deck profile. Uh, aliens are very fun. Uh, pretty trolly if you ask me. But at the same time, very powerful at the same time. Like, they just have power plays, power pushes. Uh, some really, really funny cards. Or funny... Um, trap cards that are just stupid broken but so you play the three shock trooper with the rescue rabbit it's the 1900 beater it's a vanilla earth reptile um, you get the gist of it but this going into this rescue rabbit first turn we can set up uh, set you up pretty much for the rest of the duel which is great uh, you also play triple alien warrior uh, this card, when he's destroyed by battle, you just put two A counters, which is what the deck revolves around, is putting A counters and stuff and then removing the A counters to do other things. But uh, he puts two A counters on the monster that destroyed him. So, very good. You also play three Alien Ammonite, or I do. And what this guy does is he's a level 1 tuner, and when he's normal summoned, you can special summon one. Lo one level four or lower alien monster in your graveyard, and um, it's destroyed during the end phase, but he won't be alive long enough because uh, you get your effect a lot, or you synchro. And even if it did get destroyed, there's other cards that actually are good, or that go along with the destruction. Um, two alien kid, this card could be played at three, but I really don't like it at three, it clogs a lot. Uh, all these are reptile, by the way. Um, but what this card does is it places an A counter on all special summon monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, side note, all alien like monsters, like all the level 4 alien monsters or level 3, um, have the effect that whenever they battle the opponent's monster with the A counters, that monster loses 300 attack for every A counter on it. So, it helps you get over big monsters as well. Uh, two Alien Gray. I didn't play this card at first, but after reading it, it's not terrible. Um, what it does is it just places an A counter on the um, on a face-up monster your opponent controls, and then when this face-up card, after being flipped up, is destroyed uh, by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can draw a card. So it just pluses that way. But yeah, uh, two Alien Dog. This card special summons itself from the hand when um, when uh, alien monster is normal summoned. Uh, when you do that, you can place two alien counters on a face-up monster or monsters for the controls, which is nice. Just getting those eight counters built up. Uh, I only play one alien telepath. Pretty much remove an eight counter from an opponent's monster to destroy a spell trap card on the field. Uh, it's a once per turn effect, and it also has the uh, 300 attack, blah blah blah. Uh, and then finally, like the one of the boss monsters, uh, Alien Overlord. And what this guy does is you can special summon him by removing two eight counters from anywhere on the field. Um, and once once per turn, you can place one eight counter on each face up monster your opponent controls. So this card is a boss. This card's awesome. Uh, you could play two of them if you really wanted to. I'm only playing one. I'm playing 40 cards. I might bump it up to 41, though, to play two. Because this card is honestly really good. Um, then I also play three effect failure. Um, I feel that's kind of good. It's also a level one tier. And then one evil dragon uh, and Nanta. Uh, if you guys don't know what this card does, this card cannot be normal summoned, and you special summon it by removing from play all reptile-type monsters uh, on the f 
field and in the graveyard, so it's kind it's kind of like a win condition card. And then um, once per turn during the end, or during each end phase, you destroy one card on the field, and it gains 600 attack for each monster and defense for each reptile monster removed this way. So it's really good late game just to top deck into it, drop it, and then win. So, but that's it for the monsters. You play quite a few. I'm pretty sure 23 monsters. If I'm not mistaken, but uh, for spells, three Code A Ancient Ruins. This card, you put an A counter on it every time a face-up alien monster is destroyed, and then remove two A counters from anywhere on the field to special summon an alien monster from the graveyard. Uh, that's really good. It's a monster, recurring monster reborn uh, that you can just get a ton of A counters, and since it's from anywhere on the field, um, that's good. And it's also a continuous spell, which is kind of a big deal. Two chain energy. Um, if you guys don't know what this does, a lo you probably don't know what a lot of these cards do. This is not a familiar deck, but each deck must, each player must play 500 life points per card to normal summon, special summon, or activate cards in his or his, his or her respective hands. And you can bounce this card with your synchro. So again, that's pretty good. And then two MST and two mysterious triangle. I love this card. Uh, you can destroy one monster on the field with an A counter, then you can special summon one level 4 alien monster from your deck. Uh, it's really good. Uh, you destroy it during the end phase, but uh, let's say they have like, um, a, I don't know, just a boss monster on the field or something like a dad or a BLS with an A counter on it, and you can pop it and special summon out the alien and then uh, just go for some stupid plays, which I really like about the deck. It's very trolly in that aspect, but now on to the traps. Uh, three Planet Pollution Virus. This is hands down one of the best cards in the deck. Um, what it does is you tribute an alien monster. Any alien monster can be set to to destroy all face of monsters your opponent controls or without alien counters they control on them. For three turns after this card's activation, you just put uh, a counter on every monster they summon. So this card's ridiculously good. Um, and after tributing it, you will get the effect of this guy, Code Ancient Ruins. So, there's that. Uh, two, Offering of the Snake Deity. This is a um, Icarus attack for... Reptiles, so that's a good card. Two interdimensional warp. This card combos really well with Alien Gray, uh, but any alien, alien actually. But select a monster you control and a monster with an A counter your opponent control and switch controller, switch control the monsters. So that's really good. It's kind of like a creature swap trap, except your monster doesn't have to control A counters, and I don't know. I just like it a lot. To call the haunted again. It's called the haunted. It's also continuous, so you can bounce it. And then one brainwashing beam, and this is pretty much a big eye for however long or however many A counters there are in the opponent's monster. You activate this, take a monster from your opponent's side of the field that has at least one A counter on it, and then um, during each of your end phases, remove an A counter. And when the eight counters are all gone, if the monsters destroyed, and then this card's destroyed as well. So it's a really good card. Um, but that's it for the main deck. Like I said, 40 cards, I believe, or 41. Uh, extra deck, Zen mains. You make this with dog. One fairy king, Albertovich, or whatever. Uh, this card's okay. Uh, it's not technically needed though. You can also make it with rabbit. Which is the only reason why I play it. But my Stroke, Diamond Dyer, um, good cards. Two King of the Feral Imps, and your this is what your main play usually is. So you go Rescue Rabbit, Shock Trooper, and then you overlay and detach, and then add your Anamite or Ammonite. So the next turn you can Normal Summon, Special Summon out Shock Trooper, Synchro, and make your uh, boss monster. Or your boss synchro from the deck. So, King of the Feral Imp really sets up sets that up. Um, 
But yeah, that's another. That's actually a reason why I would like Rabbit at two, just for this deck, honestly. Uh, and then on to the synchros three Cosmic Fortress Golgar, and this is your card that you go into. It's really good if you don't know what it does. Once per turn, you can or it's a reptile level five synchro light. Uh, requires one alien ammonite and one or more non-tuner alien monsters. Once per turn, you can select any number of face-up spell trap cards, return those cards to the owner hand, and distribute new eight counters among monsters on the field equal to the number of cards returned. Once per turn, you can remove two eight counters from anywhere on the field to destroy one card your opponent controls. So, this card is really good. And using those eight counters that you accumulate with uh, your main deck over here really helps. So bouncing your chain energy so you can activate a ton of stuff and then activate chain energy so your opponent has to pay a ton of life which they may not have um, which is nice so yeah it's good uh... Cataster and magical android magical android is going to go out for an armades um, and then these are kind of just synchros that I threw in you main, your main play though is honestly just to go into this guy um, but Iron Chain Dragon, HTS Simuth, Red Dragon Archrain, and Colossal. Um, the only reason why it's not like Stardust Dragon and stuff like that is um, you don't really go, you don't make eights a lot, and these are just like big push for game, and that's honestly all you would do. Uh, this is just to get over Blader if needed, but honestly, you don't go into eights a lot. Uh, it could be better exceeds, honestly. Um, but those are all in other decks, and I was too lazy. I was just going by what I had. But uh, side deck real fast, two XYZ Avenger. This card is really good. It's from the new set. It's a common. Uh, it's good against XYZ decks, I guess. But uh, it's unaffected by the effect of XYZ monsters. When this card is destroyed by battle with an XYZ monster, instead of the graveyard, activate one of these effects depending on the rank. Rank three or lower. Your opponent sends one card from the extra deck to the graveyard. Rank four. Choose one card in your opponent's extra deck and send it to the graveyard. Rank 5 or higher, your opponent sends as many cards from their extra deck to the graveyard as possible, but not more than XYZ monsters rank. So if they have a Draco Sack on board, a Big Guy or whatever, and you just ram into it with this card, they they will send 7 cards from their extra deck to the graveyard, which can really shut down a deck. Um, this card is really good. Uh, I really do enjoy this. And it, I'm not sure if you choose or your opponent chooses, but it's a really good common. I would strongly suggest like, trying to pick these up. Uh, it is slower, but at the same time, I just... It's too good. Two Alien Hypno. This card pretty much just take controls of, takes control of the monster. Um, but yeah. So, it takes control of the monster with eight counters, and then... And t once it runs out of eight counters, that monster is destroyed. Um, and it's during your main phase, so you can do it more than once. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but uh, I'm not. I'm still not too familiar. Two deck lockdown. It's pretty good. You don't do a lot of adding, and then it's continuous, so you can return it as well with the Goldar. Uh, two prohibition continuous spell. It's good. Uh, the once what the third snake deity. Uh, Soul Drain, Mind Drain, Continuous, uh, Rivalry, Continuous, and then Dust Rain. Right and the reason why I'm saying Continuous is that the reason they can be returned, which really does actually help select cards for the extra deck. And those are the best Continuous, I think. Uh, I could be playing Phoenix Chain, honestly, instead of Effect Baylor, and I honestly will, but I don't have any Phoenix Chains extra, and I picked up some Effect Baylor today, so... Um, yeah, so, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I'm sorry if it's a little bit long. Um, I kind of explained a lot, but if you guys are interested in, like, watching a dual video with this or something else or it's a blah, 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 etc., um, just um, let me know. I think I'm going to be hanging out with some friends tomorrow, so we might get some dual videos in. Uh, I will most likely be using this deck, Gigavice, Gladiator Beasts, and Gonslers. Um, not always the most meta decks out there, but, um, sure, they're, well, they're very fun, so, uh, 
that's and that's why you have to do you have to find fun decks to play, um, especially in this meta and this game. So, but yeah. So, anyway, see you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.